<laughs> All right, Mr. Gov. I'm here with Garrett. And Garrett, I don't know how I met you, Garrett, but we get along pretty good. I think so. Yeah. So what's your Instagram handle? It's uh, at GovTattoo. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it? <laughs> at GovTattoo. Check it out. Just check it out. G-O-V. G-O-V. Yeah. GovTattoo. So where are you from? From Calgary, born and raised, but didn't always live there. Okay. Uh, been living there, well, since halfway through the pandemic now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So you went back because of the pandemic sort of thing? Or? Yeah, I was on the road traveling for about four years. I didn't okay. live anywhere. Oh, shit. And I was just... Tattooing at the same time? Or? Tattooing all through Canada, the States, oh, wow. Central America. That's very bold. And then, uh, yeah, I just happened to be in Vancouver when the pandemic hit. Okay, so you were in the country, that's kind of good. Huh? Luckily, yeah. yeah I was yeah. in Vancouver. Uh, all my family lives on the island. Okay. So, it's like, hey, uh, can I stay for a couple of weeks? Months? I ended up staying with mom and dad for uh, five and a half months. And, and, well, how old were you when you back, went back? That was like three years ago. Yeah, I was like... 47. Oh my god. <laughs> Those were like late 70s. Were they happy? Like, oh, they know? loved it. They oh my god. It. That's amazing. <laughs> they didn't want me to leave. <laughs> so, uh, that's a funny story. Uh, just to go back to a little bit more serious, like, how did you get into tattooing? Uh, it was a fluke. I never wanted to tattoo. I okay. never even thought about it. Okay. Uh, I mean, I grew up listening, playing punk rock, so tattooing was just part and parcel. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I was getting basement tattoos forever. Right. It goes know? hand in hand, really. Right? And uh, I was in bands for like 20 odd years, so I was doing gig posters, doing up record covers, all that. Oh, so, yeah, I was yeah. always drawing and painting. Yep. You know, I got kicked out of art school, all that sort of fun stuff. Too good? Right, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Too stoned, baby, but no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and, uh, yeah. so uh, I'd worked I worked in the bar industry for about 15 years. Yeah, yeah. I was just tired of the lifestyle. Yeah. The band stuff wasn't working out. Everybody was getting married, having kids. Yeah, getting older. And then some of the dudes that were tattooing me, like, dude, you, you draw more than most people we know. And they just kind of brought me in. So I didn't even have, like, an apprenticeship. Okay. It was just some pals being like, do this, do that. And... Yeah. You know, and how, you were 30, so about 10 years ago, like uh, yeah, 10, 15 years ago. 21 years. 21 ago? Year? Okay. Yeah. I'm really good at math. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I was just about, I was just about to turn 30. Okay. So midlife crisis, maybe. <laughs> good one, if you ask me. So that's how you got into it. So it's basically work like hand in hand, like music and tattoos and bars and stuff like that. It was always, they were always part and parcel with each other for me. You know, it was always part of the same scene. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, for lack of a better word. So was that in Calgary? When, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, Calgary is a good tattoo scene when you think about it. There are some amazing people there. Yeah. You know, absolutely. I used to live in Canmore. I lived in Canmore for 12 years. 12 years? Yeah, yeah, Kenmore Band for sure. Well, it's, what, it's a lot different now, it's huge. Yeah, yeah, there was no uh, like big building in Kenmore uh, or very few on Kenaskis Ways and stuff like that. It's crazy. You know uh, Field? Field yeah. BC? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. lived there for like three years. Really? Yeah, I was a ski instructor at Lake Louise. Really? <laughs> yeah. man. I, in high school, right oh, after high school. Oh, really? <laughs> That's amazing. I, I spent so much time there, like uh, I was doing graphics and stuff. Oh, nice. And uh, nobody was doing graphics in web back then so I went up really really good I used to go to uh, what was the place here up in Canmore you know, if you know, uh, no. like a sports uh, place and I basically exchanged services for years like uh, rental gears so every time I wanted to go ski pick up my skis for the winter went skiing and stuff like that beauty and it's always brand new stuff every brand season. new stuff yeah, yeah. that's the way to do it doing a little bit of publicity and stuff <laughs> but yeah all right go back to tattooing so, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you 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 always did traditional-ish work, or...? No, I mean, when I first started, it was... Where you still just had to do whatever. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't think I had a style. I think, uh... I mean, I grew up, like, again, with the punk rock, cut and paste posters, like... <laughs> really... Weird, just whatever sort of drawings. You know, a heavy influence with, like, uh... California hot rod stuff and all that, okay, yes, but, but yes. never really translated into tattooing for me. So I was just doing whatever I was told to do, yeah. and then it was just over time. Yeah, for people who uh, 
wonder what he's talking about. He's talking about like Rat Fink and all these like opera, like California. Yeah, bands. Robert Williams, Ed Roth, yes. all of that. Yes. Uh, Von Dutch. I mean, that whole scene where yeah. they were. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Like a lot of good stuff come from California. That's for That's sure. Amazing art. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, at that time, like the crazy monster cartoon stuff. I mean, I was a kid growing up with that. And yes, yes, very much. Awesome. Yeah. You know. So, like, uh, did you travel a lot, like convention wise? Like, uh, what would be like your best memory? of a convention that you'd say oh my god memory yeah like a souvenir like the best blast you you can remember <laughs> convention was well, I mean I didn't start doing conventions until later on I, I didn't realize that that was something I would be able to do okay yeah, yeah, yeah. you know I just thought it was for other people okay and then once I got invited to come and do some stuff so I mean it made more sense maybe, maybe even like the first time I did Montreal like Well, 13 years ago or whatnot. Okay, like yeah. you were into it for about 10 years. Maybe that, that's where it suddenly hit me that like, oh, this is there's, there's something more to this. There's, there's more that I can do to this. I can't, you know, it's, it wasn't so much fucking around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, suddenly all of these other opportunities opened up. So I'd say maybe maybe my first Montreal one was the the, the big one for me. Okay, I'd done like like Calgary and Lethbridge and little ones, but there was just the the caliber of people in Montreal. Yes, yeah, and then yeah. to be invited to go and do it for sure it was uh, it was a game changer. So. Definitely, yeah. You were lucky then. Uh, I was very lucky. Yeah, yeah. I got into Montreal because I had a partner who was there for like over 25 years, so that's why I was able to go there really. Yeah, uh, the, the person I worked for at the time, who I won't name, but <laughs> got, got me in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, because of her, yeah. um, I've been able to travel, travel everywhere. everywhere to go. So anywhere. like four years, no home, traveling. It was great. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so like now you're a bit more, I guess, uh, like you, you stay around, you stay around Calgary and stuff, you travel. Um, you were saying earlier when off uh, off uh, off camera that you sort of uh, take it easy now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, life is short. I mean, I love tattooing. It's given me everything. But there's more to life than just tattooing. I know some people hate me for saying that, but I'm sorry. There is more for sure, and <laughs> it, it, I think it's you know? a balance when you have more, right? Like you have to, tattooing, and you have other stuff and, around. And, and when you do something for so long, I think you need to step back and, and maybe. I don't know if I'm saying it the right way, maybe reassess. Reassess, yeah, for sure. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Um, like a, yeah, like a midlife crisis sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I've had a lot of friends pass away in the last few years, and that realization that I'm also getting older, you know, I'm like 50 now, and there's only, I only have so much left in the tank, as it were. Yep. Um, but you know, I, I need to go and experience things and not be in the shop six days a week anymore. So having a life, not only work, because it's still work. Experiencing the world, mm -hmm. you know, seeing what's out there. There's yeah. a lot of cool things and... That, so um, you've been around, you've done a lot of stuff. Do you have anything next? Like what would be your next thing like you want to do in order to, I don't know, move on in life and stuff? Like in terms of tattooing? Uh, or? Anything, tattooing for sure. And then, you know, life in general. Well, in terms of tattooing, uh, I'm still I'm getting into some uh, European conventions in the fall, yeah. and I've never done one, okay. so it, to me, that's a, that's the next new step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm also really excited to go over there and watch a bunch of footy games. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker, <laughs> right? eh? <laughs> See a bunch of hooligans do crazy shit. So. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No. So travel more. Travel yeah, more, travel do more. more. And really, you're in tattooing, so it's a matter of where, wherever you want to tattoo, right? Yeah, if I can get into a place and make some money while I'm there and then experience the people and the culture, like, yeah. well, that's You like win -win. experiencing people? I, that's what I like about traveling more than anything else. Some people Love like it. food, some people like this. I yeah, like people. I think people and food go hand in hand. If you can sit down with, with somebody that lives locally, with their family, and share a meal, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the... That's the best. So get them a no. tattoo, you know? Yeah. Tacos tattoo or something. Right? <laughs> Tacos for tattoos? Yeah. <laughs> But there's nothing better than, you know, uh, having, having your friend take you 
over to their parents' house and, and they make you a home cooked traditional meal. Oh yeah. And it's just yeah. made with uh, with love and it's glorious. Let's go eat. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well thank you man. Thank you. I, uh, I appreciate you. I truly appreciate you as well. It's uh it's fun we get coming ground with people and uh, it happens in tattooing so I'm it happy about that. So many different types of people together. Yeah. You know, they wouldn't have any commonality otherwise. True that, true that. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's fun. I truly like it.